The city of Tulsa is putting savings in sharp focus. A team established in 2010 was given the task of improving the city's sustainability. I was very enthusiastic. Water and Sewer Department employee Graham Brennan is one of its members. I've grown up in Tulsa. I, I live in Tulsa now. I've, uh, I love the city. And uh, so that's really my first motivation is just as I'm a citizen like everyone else. And so uh, I want to see our, our city prosper and be something that we can be proud of. First, the team posed the important question, what is sustainability? For the city of Tulsa, the definition is this, the responsible use of resources to meet current needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet theirs. Sustainability is not about telling you you have to live in the dark and make your own paper and, and do that kind of thing. It's, it's just really about being responsible with what you have and making sure that, that you utilize your resources so that the next generation can utilize theirs. Be that your kids or grandkids, be it the person who has your job next, you know, whatever that happens to be. And it's just operating in a responsible, efficient manner. With a limited budget and more demands on our city's infrastructure, new methods of saving money and the environment must begin right now. But what we really wanted was kind of a, a start and, and something to look at on the horizon that we could move toward. That's where the Office of Sustainability comes in with a plan. It has seven areas where changes can and are already being made. Category one is energy management. The city spends $20 million a year on energy. The plan calls for conservation at all 238 city-owned buildings and an energy conservation and sustainability team to manage it all. It's not something that we have to have somebody else do for us. It's not something that we have to hire a bunch of people to do. So it's low-hanging fruit, so to speak that we can go in there and we can identify these initiatives that will help us save money in terms of energy conservation and then move forward with them. Some changes are as simple as replacing highway lights with light emitting diode or LED lights, which would lead to $700,000 in savings in a year. There's more than one way to illuminate crosswalk lights. There's proof of that downtown, where all lights are now LED lights. Other suggestions include driving natural gas cars and trucks, replacing old motors larger than 10 horsepower with new motors, and replacing single pane windows with energy efficient windows. Category two is water management. Tulsa's two water treatment plants process 220 million gallons of water a day. That is where by far a majority of the energy is used in city operations. The sustainability plan recommends training facility employees the best practices for finding savings. It also recommends cutting down on chemical costs by soliciting more competitive bids and installing more machine monitors to catch leaks faster. The plan suggests the city set a goal for water use reduction and recognize companies and civic groups that are conserving water. Category three is solid waste and recycling. The sustainability plan focuses on trash generated at city facilities. More than 9,000 tons of it per year. While city employees already do their fair share of recycling, this plan calls for more. It suggests requiring city employees to turn in old city-issued items for new items at a central collection facility instead of throwing them away on their own. This ensures that more items will get recycled. Category four is sustainable fleet management. It's estimated the city of Tulsa will consume more than 2.2 million gallons of fuel in fiscal year 2012. This plan recommends the use of more CNG cars. It also suggests fleet right sizing, which means cycling out the older cars and trucks not in use. 550 vehicles have already been identified for this purpose, which will result in a 20% fleet reduction. That uh, took uh, quite a bit of effort to just get all that data together from all the various sources. But it was a learning experience. We learned more about our, our facilities and our operations just by going through that. Category five is sustainable procurement. This means that the city should focus on more than the purchase price when buying items for the city. Because Tulsa spends anywhere from 75 to $100 million on goods and services, and an additional $300 million on construction projects and Annually, the plan suggests more training for all employees who purchase those items to ensure they're keeping those costs low and production high. 
Category 6 is renewable energy. The sustainability plan recommends a study be conducted on renewable energy resources like wind power and solar power. It recommends a pilot project that would include a solar hot water and auxiliary system on the top of a Tulsa fire station. It's very, very precious to us. It's an energy test that Mayor Bartlett already conducted at his own business, Keener Oil and Gas Company. It controls our economy, it controls our way of life. And we understand in Tulsa uh, and in Oklahoma about how precious energy is. Category 7 is economic development. The plan suggests building a strong, clean technology industry. Nationwide, 2.4 million jobs were created in the green construction market from 2000 to 2008. Through the sustainability plan, Mayor Bartlett hopes to capture more of those jobs here. Tulsa, Oklahoma, we may be known as the former oil capital of the world, but now we've become the energy capital of the world. It is a plan that means big savings for the citizens of Tulsa. I hope that the citizens see that this is something that can benefit them, that the city government is working hard to make sure that when we spend taxpayer dollars that we're spending them as wisely as possible. Our city workers are, are open to ideas. I think we have a creative, uh, innovative workforce. Those who put it together treasure T-Town and hope our future leaders will see that in Tulsa's sustainability plan. People, profit, and planet. If you put those three together and you can hit a positive triple bottom line, I think you've really accomplished something. And that's something that the city of Tulsa wants to do. And then I think our community will also.